Hey guys, quick biochemistry basics here. Let's talk about enzyme immobilization. The phenomenon in which enzyme is attached to an inert insoluble material is called enzyme immobilization. There are several ways in which enzyme immobilization can be done. These include adsorption, ionic binding, covalent binding, and entrapment method. Let's talk about adsorption. This method involves binding of enzymes on inert carrier such as activated charcoal, silica, or clay. The adsorption involves weak attractive forces such as hydrogen bonding and van der Waal interaction. Because of these weak attractive forces, the enzyme activity is not affected. However, change in pH, ionic strength, and temperature can affect enzyme binding. Ionic binding Ionic binding of enzymes can be carried out using ion exchange resin. These materials have a positive or negative charge depending on the pH. The most common ion exchange materials used are DEA cellulose or CM cellulose. DEA cellulose has a positive charge and can interact with enzymes having negative charge. During this process, it is necessary to maintain pH, ionic strength and temperature because any change in these factors can disrupt the binding of enzyme. Covalent binding. Covalent binding is permanent method for enzyme immobilization. This method involves covalent bond formation between the functional group of the carrier and the functional group of the side chain amino acids of the enzyme. The advantage of covalent binding is that immobilization is not affected by external factors such as pH and presence of ions. However, it should be noted that catalytic site of enzyme should not be affected during immobilization. Entrapment method. This method involves trapping of enzymes in matrix of gel. This is a cost-effective method as enzyme is trapped and gel can be reused many times. The recovery of enzymes after the reaction is complete is also very easy.